Hallelujah. Beloved, God richly bless you for always learning with the prophet of God. And we will continue to learn for the betterment of our own lives. And trust you in me, you will not waste your time. The power of God will help change every situation for the better of your soul. In Jesus' mighty name. I pray in the mighty name of Jesus. May the Spirit of God minister through me to you. And I pray for you after this very message, your life will never be the same again. In the name of you who died and resurrected on the third day, Jesus Christ, the living God. In Jesus' mighty name I pray. Amen. Now, I want to talk briefly about how to encourage yourself. Beloved, sometimes you need to create happiness for yourself. No one will encourage you, but sometimes you have to encourage your own self. You have to encourage yourself. If you read the book of the book of Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. Joshua chapter 1 verse 5. I would like to read chapter 1 verse 5 to 10. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. Now God is speaking to Joshua. No one will be able to stand against you all the days of your life. As I was with Moses, so I will be with you. I will never leave you nor forsake you. Be strong and courageous. Be strong, verse 6. Be strong and courageous. Because you will lead these people to inherit the land I swore to their ancestors to give them. Beloved, God has a very powerful plan with you. God has a very great covenant with you. Beloved, wherever you are hearing my voice, this is the time for you to encourage yourself. Do not resign from your faith in Christ. Never resign. Never hesitate. Beloved, but stir up your faith in Christ and live in a very powerful faith in Christ. Because it is the work of the devil to diminish your faith in Christ. It is the work of Satan to bring you down, to tarnish your image in life. But you have to stand on your feet, vandalize every activities of the devil and triumph over him. Hallelujah. When Moses went away, Joshua was to replace Moses. And God spoke to Joshua because when he looked at the largest congregation of Israel, following him to the promised land, Joshua was extremely amazed and he was afraid as well. And he had an encounter with God, and God spoke to him, encourage yourself and be strong. Beloved, it is the expectation of God for us to become more powerful. Yes, God wants us to, to become powerful. As God sits in heaven, he, he testifies about the righteousness of Job on the early realm. God testifies the righteousness of Job to the angels in heaven. So when God looks on this early realm, he wants to see a very powerful believer on this early realm. A very powerful believer who always encourages himself, no matter the circumstances, no matter the challenges that comes across his or her way. Yes. Son of man. It is my obligatory prayer that you can take your stand against every schemes of the devil. But I will entreat you with the word of God that be more courageous. 
Be more courageous. Be bold. You have to be bold. Anywhere God sends, you have to go. Whatever God tells you to do, you have to do it. Don't seek for permission from any person before you do it. Whatever God commands you to do, do it with boldness. Do it with boldness. And by so doing, you will get a very great reward from God Almighty. I pray for you by the power that is deposited in me as a prophet of God. I command your life to be elevated. May the Spirit of God unveil your life and gives you a very powerful blessings in Jesus' mighty name. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. I bless you in Jesus' mighty name. Joshua took his stand against the schemes of the devil. He did encourage himself. He was able to carry the people to the promised land. What are you doing for God? What are you doing for Jesus Christ? What have you been doing in the presence of God? Don't resign. Continue doing it and be more courageous. Strengthen yourself. Be highly spiritual and be very prayerful. So that every assignment that God has given to you, you will be able to accomplish it in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for you. I pray for you. May the power of God enable you to complete every assignment of the Holy Spirit. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I bless your entire life in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Shalom, beloved. I am Prophet Ojatana, founder and general overseer of Power Explosion Anointed Chapel, which is also known as the Good Spirit Church. The Good Spirit Church. PEAC is inviting you. Come and worship with us and your life will never be the same again. If you have been experiencing um, spiritual marriage problems, financial difficulties, you, you, you have been attacking by demons and evil spirits, you have been dreaming, you don't, your dream seems quite complicated. You don't understand it. Beloved, take this contact. Wherever you are across the world, call me. Call me. Call me. Speak to me. I will, I, 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 I will interpret your dreams to you. And trust you, I will direct you according to the power of the Holy Spirit. And your life will never be the same again. Plus 233-556-22520. Plus 233-556-22520. And plus 233-207-104975. Plus 233-7-10. Forty-nine seventy-five. God richly bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs>